meals are better together. Whether you're celebrating with friends or family, a seasonal drink can take your dinner up a notch. That is for sure. And Lisa and Aubrey from Low Bar Cocktail Services are here and they're showing us how to make the perfect punch to turn your Thanksgiving dinner into a party. At least until you fall asleep on the couch watching TV after yeah. <laughs> the big exactly. dinner. But this is adorable. And then your guests can serve themselves. Yeah. Right? You're taking this. Uh, so we want to talk about large format cocktails and punch bowls. Uh, this punch bowl specifically is from a vintage local vintage reseller. It's so it's really special. These these cups clip onto the side. It's so cute. It's cute. Love this. It feels like we're at a tea party or something. <laughs> Isn't it cute. special? So and then Aubrey has made this ice ring, and so you can take a bunt. Pan. We, yeah, we used a silicone one that we ordered online, and um, these are for, you can actually bake a cake or do an ice ring in Bunch it. Bunch of course. But it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's easier to get out if you use the silicone rather than so a metal one. So you can pop yeah. it out a bit easier. It, it I was gonna right say, out. Like, how do you do that? The, but that makes sense. The only tricky part is that once you put all of your, vet, or your fruit and herbs and everything in there, is that it likes to, float to the top. So I layered everything and then I put on the very top of it my orange rings to like so weigh down, it, down. Like one berries. layer with rosemary, a little water, yep. let yeah. it freeze. I did the next. water at the very end. And then with these, oh. they're kind of scary too, so you gotta put them on a plate before you put it in the freezer. Got it, okay, okay. I learned that Okay, lesson. so then the punch that we're making today is a winter sangria punch. Okay. So we have our trusty box of wine. I love box of wine Which is so great so for much. a party, especially for hosting. And so we're gonna, you can use a regular bottle of wine, which is about a little over three cups. I say pour with your heart. <laughs> I love, I love that. the Boda box and the Black box um, wines are so good. They're they so are. easy. To Both use. of those are really good. Yeah. And some of our um, fine wine and spirit stores also carry some great um, imported boxes that'll be a little higher price. Yeah but are really qu great quality. So we should mention that the ice ring here has cranberries, oranges, some rosemary. We've added in, what kind of red wine did you add in? It's uh, a Zinfandel. Oh, okay, great. This is a half a cup of brandy. Oh, I'm, I'm catching that yeah, right now. Yeah, you definitely can catch great. it. Turn it up a bit. And we've got two cups of local apple cider. Oh. I love it. So this is, I see, so it's the winter sangria, so you're sort mm -hmm. of like, it's sort of like half cider. Almost a, little a little red bit. wine, and then I think no punch is complete without a little bubbles. So we're going to use this local ginger beer. Okay. And oh, so those lovely. flavors will all complement. It, how it's, local yeah. is that? <laughs> <laughs> it is from Natrona, but yes, it's a Jamaican style ginger okay, okay. beer. And then yeah, and I say again, just measure with your heart here. Yeah. Um, and then you can add some fun things like Lisa has here, uh, the star anise and some. We have, uh, yeah, you can float that yep. around. Some cinnamon sticks. Some cinnamon sticks. Cute. And then once this ice ring starts to melt, you're going to get all of that too. Mm -hmm. Precisely. All those flavors. <laughs> so you could also use your ice ring with <coughs> juice. That's another option. You can make the ice ring instead of with water, you could use juice. Oh, okay. And then for service, I made these ice cubes that so have, a, have a rose, a citrus rose, so we can put those oh in. Oh my gosh. And, and you can use these two oh, or serve it. This is a uh, really great idea. I was telling you that we are doing an ugly Christmas sweater party at our house and this would be even into December a really nice there you go yeah. Boaz. You well, and yeah. To be honest with you because of the nature of our company we everything we do is large format yeah so you're getting yeah. it in one I drink one. but we're yes. making Here. quarts and quarts oh. of it in the background um pre-batch so that when we arrive and we have 200 people at a wedding for cocktail hour we do. can this is delicious make the drinks yeah. quickly yeah. so i love it it feels so seasonally appropriate mm. i'm in the spirit yeah, you can put a rosemary sprig in there <laughs> this is lovely and then this is so fun once you set the um orange slices in yeah then you just fill with water and that's how you and then that's how you make you Awesome roses. What a great My mom idea. made these for our uh, New Year's Eve party last year, and literally every single person at the party, people were drinking wonderful champagne. They're like, I don't care, put the cube in put it. Put the cube I want in, the cube I want it. it. <laughs> well, cheers to you okay, both. So yeah. Thank cheers. you so much. What Gorgeous. a wonderful idea. You can find Low Bar's punch recipe and info on how to book them for your event on our website.